two more. All right, you're in. This is where you finish. Start to pulse it from two. Two, one, done. I have been absolutely loving Etsy during this lockdown. I just think you find such unique pieces. And I bought me and Alan these two little mugs. They are quite small, as you can see. Um, and I got Alan's with his initials on the bottom, which I thought was so sweet. Um, and eventually maybe we could get a whole set and put our family name on the bottom. I think that would be really cute. But they are so nice, so nicely made. And so I thought I would do a mention of them. Um, they're by Sine Cera Ceramics. Um, I'm just going to pop these details here and I'll also pop a link to Sine's, um Etsy in the description box of this video. But if you wanted to check them out, these are all the details of where you can find them. And it only costs a little bit extra to get names put on the bottom or initials or you can also put dates on the bottom. And they're all handmade. They can go in the microwave and then the dishwasher. And they're absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, it feel so nice, like really nice quality. So if you're looking for kind of some handmade ceramics or things that um, you can kind of have like this in the home, um, I would definitely recommend it. The service has been really good, communication really good, and the quality is just lovely. So I've got my new coffee cup. Alan's one is so small, guys. It's got like a quarter cup of coffee in there. But how are you liking it? Very nice. So this is Alan's very small coffee. He's had half of it. The cup is so gorgeous, I think maybe I should have gone for the 8 ounce instead of the 6. But it's very, very cute. And I've got my little workstation set up. I've got some breakfast, I've got my coffee on the go. It's my first time using the new mug and it looks so nice. Lovely, I've popped the um, email over now um, and just asked that someone give you a call on that number, okay? So we got the news yesterday with... Um, bojo's plan to get us out of lockdown which is going to be like every five weeks they'll make new changes and i'm feeling kind of optimistic about it i understand that things could change but i feel like having this plan in place over like five weeks at a time if they push something then it's sensible and it's for a reason i'd rather like that than we just kind of keep going in and out of lockdown because like last year was a bit nuts um so I'm feeling positive about it. I know a lot of people might be more, I don't know, would you say realistic or pessimistic? It's a hard line between the two. But it's giving people something to hope for. And I need that right now. I think a lot of people need that right now. So I'm feeling good about it. It even kind of made me put on this yellow striped top because my mood was perky this morning. Um, it just feels like we have something to work towards and it's nice to have that goal. What do you think about it? Mm, it's really good. Now, what do you think about the... Are you saying your... your... No, I agree. It's, it's good that there's like a... A plan. A plan, yeah. I thought you were saying that your breakfast was no, really good. breakfast is really good. No, uh, yeah, definitely with a plan. Yeah. Let me try breakfast. Mmm. I like the new granola. That's a good granola. So I've got a few things to do today. Um, I'm going into a meeting in 15 minutes, which is going to last um, about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Then I'll take my lunch break and I might shower on my lunch break. And I'm going to show you guys what I use when I shower, like the products that I'm loving to use at the moment, because I've shown you a lot what I use for like making amazing baths, but I haven't shown you what I like for showers. Um, and I definitely want to get like better with my skincare. I'm terrible with my skincare, like it's super dry and just bumpy and just not nice. Um, so I probably will do something with my skincare today. And then, <clears throat> because I'm feeling quite excited about the fact that we might go out soon, I might later go through like my favourite perfumes that I'm going to be wearing when we get out. Like I don't put perfume on around the house, mainly because I'm in pyjamas or loungewear. Um, which I used to do when I was at my peak loving fragrance, like obsessed mode. I would put on a perfume after my shower to get into bed. I don't do that anymore. Um, but I'm going to go through with you the perfumes I'm really excited to start wearing again um, because when we are allowed out again I think the legal lockdown will be lifted if all goes to plan on the 29th of March which is perfect because my sister's birthday is just after that and then my dad's birthday is after that so yeah feeling happy about that as well that I'll be able to kind of be with them for their birthdays um, 
but yeah let's go through perfumes i did a reel on instagram recently of like my five top favorite winter fragrances which were all niche um but let's have a look at spring and see what i'm looking to wear some of them that i talk about may also be good for like winter and all year long to be honest you can wear them all year long but i love different scents at different times of the year so we can do that together Right, we're about to make lunch. I have to apologise. My auto for God, I, I think I need to... I really need to wash my hair. One second, let me... Actually, it's not too bad. Okay. I'm about to make lunch. And my auto focus on my camera is... Is that better? Anyway, it's a bit of a terrible thing. I'm thinking to upgrade my camera to that new Sony one that everyone's getting with the flip screen. Um, Alan, what's the Sony model? Exactly. ZV-1. ZV-1? But apparently the stabilisation on it isn't very good. If any of you have it or have heard things about it, please let me know in the comments because I'm thinking to upgrade that. Um, but for the time being, me and Alan are going to have lunch now. I am making us falafel pita breads. I'm going to stuff them full of stuff. I've got sauerkraut, um, olives, peppers, salad, hummus. So it should be pretty nice, so let's do that. My bathroom has the most awful light and um, when it's on it has a huge fan noise so I thought I would show you my shower products in here. Um, so first up for shampoo and conditioner, obviously I've just got these out of the bathroom and they're very well used so they're not going to look perfectly clean. Um, but this is the shampoo I use, this is from Lush, it's one of their shampoo bars, I highly recommend it, it makes your hair smell great, cleans it really well, cleans the scalp really well. Um, and obviously it's plastic free and then for conditioner I use the retread conditioner again from Lush the plastic is recyclable and another product I really really like um, to wash I use the Neom hand and body wash I really like using this I got it as a gift for Christmas and it's a really nice product um, and then of course same as when I have my baths I body brush before I get in the shower before I get in the bath something that's really good for circulation, lymphatic drainage, getting dead skin off your body. I am a huge fan of body brushing, it's completely changed the texture of my skin, it's made it really soft um, and yeah, very big fan and Alan's even gone into body brushing now because I've been raving about it for so long. And then for a body cream, or well, not a body cream, a body oil, I've been using this Eid post shower nirvana and i'll use this post bath and post shower i just got the 30 ml bottle because i just wanted to try it and see if i like it and i don't think it's going to show up on camera but i only have um from the bottom like i'm like down to here so i don't have much of this left i would definitely repurchase it but the reason i got a small bottle was because i want to try different oils and see which one is my favourite so I might try something else next time um, but I would consider repurchasing that in the future it smells absolutely gorgeous and makes your skin really soft and then a body cream option um, I have two that I really like you can see I've nearly finished this one I've got these two I'm a big fan of Neom as you guys know by now I've got the Neom um, perfect night sleep magnesium body butter which is really really nice makes skin super soft got that for Christmas as well and then this one I've had for a while um, and it is very nearly finished this was a gift as well and this is the balm hydrant tonic and it's a tonic moisturizing balm with essential oils I am a huge fan of Clarins um, I have I do try cut down products that are in plastic as much as I can 
but this really is like my skincare uh, sorry not my skincare my shower things i use so i don't have a lot of products and i make sure to use up everything i have got um, and like i said these neon bits were gifts but they're absolutely gorgeous to use and i think neon use recycled plastic um but i may be wrong there but yeah i'm a huge fan of clarins i love the scent of all their products and this moisturizer is so so nice and then just to add in deodorant i have been using the wild deodorant for about mm, four months um, the good thing about Wild is it's a natural deodorant, chemical free, and it has a reusable aluminium case, so you're taking out the plastic out of it. It is good and it does work as long as, like for a natural deodorant, as long as you don't like do exercise. <laughs> That's what I've found. It might be different for other people, but I've found that this deodorant is more one where natural deodorants go for like not really doing much, um, walking around, nothing too stren strenuous. Um, and then it's good. The deodorant that I used before that is the Schmitz Bergamot and Lime deodorant. This is a natural deodorant which I swear by. It doesn't matter what you do, you could run around anywhere, literally go on a run, do exercise, go on a bike ride and you smell nice. The only problem with Schmitz is it's in plastic. So that's what made me convert over to Wild. Um, we still have one of the Schmitz Bergman and Lime left, so Alan's using that up at the moment whilst I'm using Wild, and then eventually once all the Schmitz are done, Alan will transfer onto Wild. Um, we both really believe in natural, chemical-free deodorant. You're putting it under your armpit where you've got lymph nodes, and yeah, we've been using, well, we've been using natural deodorant and Schmitz specifically for about, what is it, two and a half, three years? Maybe two and a half years. Um, and it's only recently I've gone on to wild. So it can take time for the body to adjust to natural deodorants. So definitely give yourself time. Now's kind of the perfect time with us all being at home so much. But I'm hoping that over time my body will adapt and be perfectly fine with wild. Um, and maybe for the occasions where I'm doing something more stren strenuous, I could still use the Schmitz. But just obviously use it less so that we're not going through them as much with the plastic okay well that will be a wrap on today's video guys hopefully you enjoyed it and just had a relaxed time watching it um starting to really have nothing to show you guys because we've just continuously been in lockdown for a very long time now it feels like a long time and it also feels like no time at all but we're hopefully near the end i feel like the end could be in sight now I'm trying to remain optimistic about it and remain positive about it but we will see. We'll see what happens. It would be nice in the spring to get out, be able to go into London, like central London again. I think people get confused by this. We do live in London, but when I say we're going to go into central London, people think we don't live in London. But there's different zones to London. So we're in like zone three, four. Um, and obviously zone one is central London. So when I say we're going into central London, that's what I mean for those of you that aren't from London and don't really know the area. Um, but it would be nice to go back into central London and go to all the places we love and just walk around and see different things and take you guys with us because that's why I have this YouTube channel. It's not necessarily to show you everything I'm doing at home, it's to show you what's happening in London and explore with us. So really looking forward to being able to do that again and hopefully you guys are happy enough to stick around until we can do that again. Um, but till then, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you have a good week ahead and I will see you very soon.